<laughs> not wearing uniform. It's like we're having a day off just to have a natter. Mm -hmm. So welcome guys, welcome to Elston War Gaming. Welcome to our second episode of the Crucible of War. Mm. Our tournament reports, general chit chat mm. videos. Um, so we're going to chill out, we're going to have some natter. And we're going to talk about the Grand Tournament, well, Heat 1. Heat 1 Grand Tournament. Grand Tournament yeah. at Games Workshop, World, Warhammer really World, good. which was on the... What day was it? God, I can't remember. It was 7th... No, it was Seven. the 11th. No, it we weren't. 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th of, of July. July. Obviously, because we were there. It was only yeah. two weeks ago. A week ago. Yeah. So we're recording this a little bit late, so some things might be a little bit rusty, so if we forget names, yeah. forget bits of armies, then we do apologise. Yeah, my bad. Like I said, I've been, been busy doing real life stuff and yeah. other things. Yeah, so. but, but what I want to do what I want to do is open up and say we are going to do, we want to do a Q&A. Um, obviously a lot of people are doing this, we've seen it all over Instagram, we've seen other YouTubers do it. So This is not going to be as annoying, as annoying though as that Instagram one. No. So basically, if you've got a question you want to ask us or anyone on the team, because obviously there are seven of us now, um, basically leave your question below, and if you want to direct it at a particular person, then leave who you want me to ask. And what I'll do is I'll do a compilation video of all the questions being asked, and I'll put that together yeah. when it's long enough. You know, if I get three questions, it might not get released. <laughs> but if I get 50 <laughs> questions, we might do two, you know. So I'll, we'll compile that together, and you can just ask us anything. If we feel like it's got a good enough for an answer, we'll answer it. Mm -hmm. If it's what you did you have for breakfast this morning, then I had Weetabix. Or where's Elliot? Or where's Elliot? Elliot's, uh, well, we, we might have seen where Elliot is. I don't, if you I don't, the I don't know battle report, is. Necrons versus Craftworld, yeah. you know where Elliot is. Yeah. He's there. I can hear him, just hear him in the background now. He might have gone back in to be fair. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to talk about how our experiences of Heat 1, what we played with, what we played against, what we, what we thought about it and how we did. Mm. So we're going to start with Dan, because I'm not ready. So I went with Drakari after yeah. quite a lot of deliberation on what I was going to yeah. take. Um, You've got to take pictures, so it's just... I didn't forget to take me. pictures, yeah. It was, honestly, it was absolutely sweltering. It was, it was absolutely Great cool. event, but it was absolutely sweltering in the hot. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Like, day two, I literally, I had to wear a, a, a bandana. Just hold your hair up. To hold my, just to hold my hair up, and I actually rinsed it out, it ringed it out when I got home. It was gross. It was horrible. You half cleaned my car with it. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so no, what army there. did you take? So yeah, I went, I went with um, Drakari Cabal uh, mm -hmm. of the Black Heart, all of it. Mm, pure. Yeah, when people, when I actually put, give them the list, because obviously you can print it out and give them the yeah. list, uh, the opponency list, they were like, all, bl all uh, Black Heart? Yeah. So why not? Easy. Black Heart's good. I like Black Heart. Nice and standard. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people say it's for the um, Agents of Ect. I mean, Granted, that's, 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 that's good. good. Yeah. Mm. But for me personally, it's the being able to get the feel no pain on the vehicles. Mm. You basically become all way. Yeah. And we all know I play all way as well. So all it's, good. It's a nice transition. Um, but no, in the list, so we had um, two, just two detachments, a battalion and a uh, air wing. Mm -hmm. So in the air wing, there was three Razor Wings and a Void Raven Bomber. Um, with DC cannons on the razor wings, uh, rifles, and they're obviously the missiles. Yeah. Um, they did all right. They did quite well. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get into what they did in certain games when we go through it. Um, <laughs> the battalion had two archons. Um, one was obviously the warlord in the yeah. um, the the writ of the living muse. I believe it's called the one rerolled to wound. Yeah, which is the uh, which is the writ, which is the um, Relic and yeah. then the wall trick, uh, yeah. labyrinthic cunning to get, to get the CP, CP back, back. Yeah. which is for both players, not just everyone, yeah. yeah, which I did, yeah, and it's for every CP spent as well, it's not very just good. command it's very points, not just strategy. Sorry, yeah, and then the other guy, I mean, I was toying with because obviously in this one you didn't have to um, say what you wanted in, in terms of your relics, you could do it on per game so. The Helm of Spy, I believe it's called, is... The called, Denied Power one. The Denied Power one, which yeah. is really good. I was te tempted to put that in a, in a couple of games, but I, I just didn't bother, because it's... I think I don't think I actually read many Psychers, to be honest. No. Maybe one or no, two. No, I didn't. I think I, I think of a couple that you played, played two, against. Yeah, two, two games, games. Two games against Psychers. But again, the, the two, the, yeah, we'll get into it. So, they're the two Archons, and then I had six units of Cabalite Warriors, with a blaster in each and then seven Venoms yeah. to, with their dedicated transport. So, yeah. so this is really good because everything's internal war. 
Yeah, everything's eternal war. So you need the bodies and you need the units this to grab objectives. Yeah. So yeah. You, I've got six objective secure units in a speed 16, um, but yeah. that's minus one to hit and a five pin one. Yeah, exactly. with a six up. So it's good. You kill that all up, there's an upset unit now. Yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm out, yeah. Exactly. And the other thing actually as well with the Black Heart is, um, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if a lot of people miss it, is, is the plus one to the power from pain table. Yeah, peel up. So, 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 you, so you're like, you're fearless from turn three. Yeah, which you need in an yeah. end game situation. You need yeah. to be fearless. So yeah. even even for the early games, being able to re-roll your advance and charge rolls from turn one is really good. Mm -hmm. So you might need that extra inch to get onto that objective. Yeah. Because um, I think was it mission one that was cumulative scoring? Or there, uh, there were two, weren't there? What the cumulative there scoring? There were two that were cumulative scoring. So, yeah, yeah. so mission one uh, was dominate and destroy. Yes. Before we get into the first one, so that's, that's hold an objective, get a point, kill a unit, get a point. Yeah. So, so that, again, that helps for that. If, I mean, I'd, it didn't really come into effect for me, but again, we're getting that. And then to finish the list off, I actually took the Reapers. I uh, painted up my Reapers in, what, three days? Not Dark Reapers. Not Dark Forge Reapers, World, no, the Forge World, World LR Reapers. Uh, Raider with yeah. D6 Blaster Shot. D6 Datlands Shot. Pretty right? much, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty much. Um, they're all right. They did all right for me. Um, I know a lot of people take Ravages. Fair enough. Ravages are good. Yeah, but uh, I mean... Again, to, to a couple of the players I actually played, I prefer the Razor Wings to the Ravagers. Yeah, Razor Wings are good. Because I, I get that you've, you've got to play them a bit differently because of where you have to kind of fly stuff. Yeah. But they're minus one to hit Yeah. without spending CP. Got an in one. They've got an in one. They're toughness six as well. I mean, yeah. the Ravagers are. I think the Ravagers are toughness six as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, again, yeah, you're minus one to hit and they're a bit more versatile in what they've actually got. Mm-hmm. So, like, you take DC Ravagers, which a lot of people run nowadays, which is, what, nine disintegrate, disintegrate shots? Yeah. For me, you get six disintegrator shots, you get a poison rifle, ink grey, I don't understand, but then it's the selection of missiles. You yeah, get. the missiles are really good. So, so you get the 3d3 wound on twos against infantry and monsters, yeah, which yeah, are the poison yeah. one, or you get reroll wounds, Yeah. or you get two damage ones. Mm. For me, I think they're just it's a lot more versatile for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... And so. you can still deep track him, yeah. So yeah. That, that's the list. So yeah. Um, so how was game one? Talk to me about. All your right. So I played uh, Rich with Jakari actually. This Ooh. was quite a funny one because mm -hmm. we both said at the beginning of the game that whoever gets first turn will probably win this. Okay. So did you it, go second? No. Oh. <laughs> so um, it's just funny how it kind of worked out. So it was. Um, it was hammer and anvil because it was random deployment as well and on yeah. every mission it was yeah. everyone each individual table brought their um, deployment yeah so we got hammer and anvil it's, it's rule book it's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's great yeah. and I, I actually like that yeah, element cool. of it um, especially when you've got the amount of time you get at GW events because mm. they do let people run over a little bit yeah if you need the but so yeah, so um, Rich with Jakari, if I can remember rightly, he was very similar to me apart from he had the Tantalus nice. and he had Witches and Raiders. Decent. Um, he had a couple of units of bikes. Right. Um, I think he had a couple of Razor Wings, I can't 100% remember. But then he had a, a three characters with all their um, Red Grief um, stuff. So, um, so yeah, can't can't remember off the top of my head, but I know he, you can play the command point for if so the the characters were in, inside the Tantalus. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you kill a unit or you do damage to a unit, I think it is on um, on anything you shoot at, you can play two command points, I believe it is, and you you can make the Tantalus shoot again. So that's brutal. What what was that? That's the Red Grief one, so which Red one? Grief? Yeah, I believe it's Red Grief. Jesus. Thanks. So, we managed to get off, but anyway, the, how the game started was quite funny. So it was, um, Hammer and Anvil, he set up first, so he got the plus one. Yeah. Um, he had two less, yeah. So yeah, I had, what, 13, 14 drops, incidentally. So yeah. I, I would almost guarantee to not get the plus one in every game. Yeah. But, um, so we, <laughs> we rolled off. Rich rolled a one. I was like, oh, ah, sound. So he's rolled a two. So he's rolled a two. I rolled a one. <laughs> well, like, sound. <laughs> so you go your first then, He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be go first. So, yeah, as you do. And then I seized. It's just, it's really rude not to, isn't it, at least? This yeah. Day and basically, the, the, all of the flyers just flew over. I think I killed the unit of bikes, blew up two of the, um, both raiders. Yeah. 
killed a unit of witches and I think I took down one of the flyers right. in, the, in my first turn so you for me that was bags, I had a very good first turn yeah. Yeah. Game over for and me. I think the reapers took seven or eight wounds off the tantalus as well mm. so I did well in that first and then he shot quite a lot back after um, I lost I lost a couple of planes actually for that first turn because mm-hmm. obviously the tantalus being able to shoot twice which is I, I, do you know what I completely overlooked it and I played witches which else which else Witches, Witches as well, so it's good. It's, it's good. really good. If you're going to yeah. soup and take multiple detachments, take yeah, a, take a tank list with some witches and a. And well, I mean, it, it, it were all red grief. Well, yeah. So you know, it, nice it was all um, what it should have been. Mm-hmm. I think he he won best character as well. I believe didn't he with because he had uh, the uh, Marathi um, model as a um, succubus. Nice. It looks really, really good. Nice. His army got put in third best army. Oh, is it the blue stuff? Yeah, yeah, the blue one. Yeah. So nice army. You'll have probably seen it on. I'll see if I, can, if I can find a picture from Warhammer World. It's yeah. now. That's the army. If not, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Incidentally, I actually played two people that got their armies into the nice. cabinet. So you, yeah, we'll go through into day yeah. two in a minute. So um, yeah. So you won that one. I won that one. Really nice. Rich is a really nice guy. Yeah. I think it helped that we both knew. The you codexes the we're doing. Yeah. So there were no, you know, sometimes if you've never met someone before, or I think I, I think I probably have played Rich before. I've seen him before, mm-hmm. but it flowed really easy. That's good. Um, and yeah, I, I think I didn't end up won it. I run away with points basically because I had all the venoms to float around and pick up pick up the points because yeah. um, that was the cumulative scoring one. Yeah, and it was it again kill points. So I think I was on like eight or nine from turn one. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Yeah, that that was that was a good game that one. Nice. Um, so so that was game one. Game one. So game, game two. two. This was a funny one because if you all remember, England were playing that day. <laughs> so I played against Chris Tull um, from Twisted Dice. I'm, yeah, I'm Twisted sure, Dice. Go and check him out. Yeah. Him, I'm sure a lot of you've seen him. He's a nice guy. Darren and Sean all together. So check them out. Check those Top guys out. He actually are, won. Yeah. No retreat five. He did win no retreat five. So yeah. a big contender. Yeah. Big opponent. How did it go? Um, all right. <laughs> so what was he using? He, he was right. Up. The, the list, the up. list was brutal, honestly. Um, but against certain armies, so he had uh, four, sorry, no, three units of ten snipers. Nice. At uh, rangers, sorry. Nice. Illic knight spear. Mm-hmm. He had two warlocks and a farseer, and a unit of. Uh, Storm Guardians, a big blob of 20 Storm Guardians. Okay, they're which, pretty good because you can get four up in one. Yeah, nice. and yeah, you can put all the Guardian stuff on them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he had the Scorpion. The Scorpion. The Scorpion, which is brutal. Yeah, it's like it's, a sh- it's an Elder horrible. Shadow Sword, essentially, for the good yeah, type. You know, it's, it's got loads. It's like 4d6 shots, strength like 16, 16 minus 4, 4d2d6 four four. D, damage. No, it's flat 3 damage for each one. Right, okay, for each, there you go. Yeah. So it, it's brutal. It's good. It's horrible. It's good. It's a um, titan killer. Yeah. Um, so we set up. We had that was Dawn of War actually. That that set up. Dawn of War. Um, Mission was Ascension. So that's again cumulative. Yeah. But characters. Char- characters yeah. overall obsec. So um, I actually got first turn in that one. Ooh. Um Straight off the bat. Mm-hmm. Again, it was a dodgy one because we both kind of agreed we were going to play very quickly because obviously we both wanted to watch the England game. So. We basically, I mean, we're both. I'd say we're both quite competent players. Chris is a very good player, as we all know. And I believe he just like flunked a game from bloody football. Well, we didn't heat one representing the channel. We didn't technically. <laughs> we kind of played it out, but verbally. <laughs> <laughs> but we did, we did we did get a couple of turns in. Uh, Go on, tell us about it. So turn one, it. I flew over with a void, uh, void raven and killed nine storm guardians just with a bomb. <laughs> um, I then killed. Uh, eight rangers um, just with the guns just I rolled very stupidly well with the guns right, with all the poison with all the poison and, uh, that's where from the void raven guns himself and a, a razor wing mm-hmm. um, another razor wing sorry two other razor wings managed to kill another na- uh, kill an entire unit of um, rangers which because obviously they, they deploy after it, we know who's going first. Yeah, after um, uh, first, start the first battle round. Yeah, so um, basically Chris deployed a unit of rangers and Illic on, on an objective, because obviously you get per turn, so Illic was on from turn one, he'd score one point, from turn two he'd score two points. Yeah, so he's already there, doesn't he? He's already there. So, so sniping everybody. 
so basically, oh, luckily for me, everything was in obviously in, in vehicles, so the sniping wasn't an issue as, as such. Mm -hmm. I was more worried the fact that he would need five, five and fours to wound, and the fours do it, the sixes do the more, more, the more wounds. wounds. Yeah. So that's what I was kind of worried about. So I, I went for the rangers straight away. Mm -hmm. Most, <coughs> excuse me, managed to kill two of the rangers mm -hmm. squads, and then charged Dilik just to try and put enough wounds on and stop him shooting. So stop him shooting. Because they, they, in Ascension, they, they trump um, the... Obsec. Obsec. Yeah, so the character's always... I was, I was never going to get him unless I killed him. It's always a contended argument, but yeah. as per the rules, it says... It, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. what it is. So that's how everyone plays it. That's how we play it. Yeah. So that's how it was. So I, I basically just shot a lot of chaff. I just left... The, the scorpion was up in the sky anyway, because it obviously... It, it were always going to put it in the, um, the webway. Yeah. So, which is fair enough, I'd have done the exact same thing. So yeah, I, I just shot what I could, killed yeah. enough of it mm -hmm. um, to basically leave Chris with a unit of scouts, two man unit of scouts, and a blob of guardians oh. with the characters. Right. And Illich, <laughs> and Illich's done on the thing. Right. Um, and then obviously turn from his turn, um, his first turn, sorry, the scorpion come down. Mm -hmm. Um, so they just blow up everything. He was gonna kill everything. Um, he shot a, a few shuriken. I think he did a couple of wounds here or there to each venom. Right. Which you know, he actually. I think he actually did a wound with with Illich, Actually, right. so I couldn't get to him. Okay. I think he. Yeah, I think he did three wounds to one of the one of the um, venoms. But then the scorpion shot. Mm -hmm. So we had a, a quick discussion what he would shoot because I was gonna help him out because my first turn was very good. It really yeah. was very good. Um, and he said, in terms of points, what would what would you shoot? Well, obviously, the Void Raven bomber is the most expensive. Yeah, and it's a good unit. It is a good unit. So I said, right, I'd shoot that. So he shot it with a scorpion. Um, he only rolled ten shots. That's low. Yeah, he only hit with I think it was three or four. Right. Four. No, sorry, he hit with five. He hit with five of them. Wounded with five of them. I made three. Invun saves, and then so you're I taking six damage. Taking six damage, and then I made four power from pains. <laughs> so it took two wounds from a titan killer. I mean, at this point, Dan, it'd be weird <laughs> if it didn't, wouldn't it? <laughs> and that was kind of the end of Chris's turn. He, he smited, I think, one of the um, uh, one of the venoms, mm. but that was pretty much it for in terms of Chris's. Um, turn sadly and then well, he was kind of like this is not going to end Molly's own probably not so he in the end he actually called it after his so turn he one he did concede after turn one yeah he but went. we did we played it out verbally and yeah. I, we did it obviously I think well Chris said himself but I probably would have tabled him in the end because I still had the reapers to come in as well because I had them in screaming jets right okay so you had them the scorpion, yeah. Yeah, um, the infantry they have just got slow as soon as the archons got out they'd, just, they'd have killed all the stuff yeah. so you can kill one unit a turn you can yeah. kill one unit a turn if that yeah. actually you've shared with the void raven yeah so because even the because even though a latox obviously very very good making range minus two to hit mm -hmm. I'm quick enough to get under 12 inches yeah so you just minus one then so I'm just yeah and the, and the amount of shots. Po yeah, the amount of poison shots. Yeah. So sense. you know, um, we played it. I think in the end I gave him about, I think it was about eight hundred points ish, maybe a bit less. But we, that's probably what would have happened mm. realistically, right? Because he probably would have killed the flyers if it had carried on. Not the likely. So. Well, there you go. So two yeah, wins. Two wins. So game three. Game three. On then day we day one. Yeah, then I come up against um, Tom Layton, which I, yeah. a few people probably know. He's think he's been on uh, on his war game. He's probably on his war game here. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you check them out as well on Twitch. Yeah. Live streams with Rob from a uh, previous like, Warhammer Live. That guy. Guy. That guy. His sound is good, lad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah. So you played Tom. And Tom was using Yanari. Yanari Reaper. Um, Yanari Reaper and Shining Spears. Mm. So it's typical. Tough matchup. Typical Eldar soup. Typical craft world yeah. list. I mean, to be fair, if it had carried on for one more turn, I'd have won. Mm. So I did lose. So the mission uh, was Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth, so, so the one where you can burn your opponent. You score a point for each one you hold, so again, yeah. cumulative, but then you can burn the opponent for D3 yeah. and get rid. So, turn one, I actually just absolutely turbo boosted everything up. It, again, it was Dawn of War. Uh, sorry, Hammer and Anvil. Oh, wow. Big cap. So I just went everything, made sure he would, because I knew. He only really had the mobility of the Shining Spears, mm -hmm. which will obviously they'll kill stuff because they can Shining hit flyers as well. 
mm. and they can you know kill stuff anything basically so I knew if I could burn the two in in, in his object incidentally it was, it was literally two two and two just right, okay, so two in the because middle. we kind of we didn't know obviously what the deployment was right, at the yeah, time true. so we kind of mirrored it so I was holding four straight away and then I um, advanced with the two venoms to get onto his two right forgotten the shooting I thought if I get there burn them quickly and they just survive yeah exactly just rack up them points yeah. you know you get in uh, at least six yeah, yeah so potentially at ten. least six I think it, it turned one I got ten points I didn't right. actually get time ten points so you got three for each one yeah. decent so ten yeah. points on turn one burn something like that yeah and you went I mean, first and I went first yeah well actually Tom won the roll and let me go first and then interesting in, it was probably the right thing to do but then I should have thought about it during the deployment I mean we spoke about this in the car earlier mm. what I probably should have done is put all of my flyers and the reapers into screaming not jets. the dark, dark reapers yeah screaming jets <laughs> into the sky yeah for that reason Tom would have had to get out of his wave serpent so yeah sorry so the list was um, it was a Farsi on bike warlock on bike mm -hmm. your brain obviously yeah um, I think and another warlock as well okay to make the um, two eight spearheads I think it were sure. oh rangers as well we had th uh, three units of rangers okay. which he actually forgot to put on in the beginning of the turn <laughs> which were quite funny <laughs> so to be fair to Tommy he was like I completely forgot mate I'm going to put them back up here so he literally put them in both of his in two corners right, okay. fair so enough, you get them on the board yeah. just out of the way yeah yeah fair. which is fair enough that's I mean fair. I'd have let him deploy him where he wanted anyway but it, it, you know that's how we were playing yeah um, I mean, you could have said no. That they're not on the board. They're destroyed. Yeah, that's. But that's just. If, if you, <laughs> to be fair, the Rangers didn't do anything, so yeah. they probably could have just stayed, stayed off board anyway. Yeah. I played Tom before, and he did that with scouts as well. Yeah. If we got, if we got to put them somewhere, so he just put them in the back of the board. Just something with something with Tom and just scouts. We Tommy, if you're watching, don't forget scouts. Don't forget scouts. Really <laughs> and <laughs> Rangers are the best unit in the in the Elder Codex, clearly. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but no, yeah. Then the then a unit of eight shiny spears. Yeah. Um, so obviously that that's the punch. Mm. And then two wave serpents yeah. and big unit of ten dire dark reapers and two units of four dark reapers. Right, okay. So a lot Interesting list. A lot of dark reapers. Um but yeah, so I what, what I probably should have done is just waited for Tom to get out of the vehicles, but instead I went for it and just tried That's to kill as, I went to try and kill as many of the um shiny spears as possible, knowing that he could soul burst and stuff like yeah, that. Makes sense. If I get rid of the shiny spears first I've then got enough turns to deal with Dark Reapers, mm -hmm. with the money being able to, obviously with Rain making him do the Word of the Phoenix, yeah. can probably kill four Venoms a turn, which is a lot, but I'm already in his face, so if he's shooting those, the bodies are going to get out then anyway, and lock, yeah, then you can just and lock rapid down. fire poison yeah. into him, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So, um, so I, I think I only managed to kill four Shining Spears in the first turn. Mm. They're good. Yeah, because obviously all my, all my firepower was actually quite bad with all the blasters mm -hmm. and apart from the two that are advanced and obviously I can't shoot because I've advanced mm -hmm. um, managed to kill yeah four shiny spears Tom's turn he killed all of my flyers in the first turn with all the dark reapers wow you know that was going to happen anyway I didn't. I just didn't kill enough yeah. shiny spears to be fair mm. um, at that point I already again I already like 10 nil up yeah with first blood uh, not first blood sorry I didn't get first blood, he got first blood. So I was already 10 1 up. Yeah. Um, and then it kind of just went downhill from there. I just didn't make enough saves to survive. I mean, we went to turn end of turn 4. Right. I had I, a flipping arc on the Warlord arc on, I think, on the th third roll after from Shuriken thing failed his shadow field save. Oh. So I, like, I forgot to take. No, one but of them then, games. Yeah, but then the second in command took 18 of them. <laughs> so it's like, all right, sound. But no, if, I think if, if it had ended turn five, I was eighteen four up. Right, wow. Well, on big points, score. so yeah. like if you get tabled, that's it. You, you get lose. tabled, you lose. Yeah, you so lose. I did. I did get tabled in the end. Yeah, Tom played it. I wish I'd played it to be fair. Perfect. He's been playing that army a while. Yeah. He did really well at the LGT. Yeah, uh, with a similar list, he, um, he actually ended up on top table. Yep. On the live stream, game five. So he's a good player, Tom. Uh, we've known him for quite a few years now, haven't we? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, it's so a good true left. place. So I'm yeah, seen him. He comes out too. I think yeah, now it comes our local as well. Yeah, yeah. So no, he's, he's a nice kid as well, Tom. Um, but no, I I actually enjoyed that because I, I think again it was one of those where Tom really I don't know if he really knew about it. He knew enough, but he didn't know Probably certain tricks. Yeah, a lot. Whereas I knew about his army. 
Yeah. So, you know, I, it's always hindsight. I probably should have done things differently, but I didn't. I went for it. It was hot. <laughs> it was it the last hot. day. It was end of Saturday. Not an excuse, because he, he beat me quite convincingly in the end. Like so I said, well done, Tom. If, if I survived... that. The thing is, with my list, it's about survival. Yeah. If yeah. it can't, it is a. It's quite. It's five of pinvons. It's minus one, yeah. and it's uh, ignore damage. If, it, if it doesn't good. kill what it shoots in that first two five turns, seven. it's gonna get murdered. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. So day one was two, two, two one. one. Not bad. Not bad myself. at all. Not bad at all, Dan. Sweated about four stone out. Yeah, you know. That's it. Beach bodies now. Beach bodies. <laughs> so. Um, Ready on to go on day two? Yeah, day two was, was really good. I mean, actually, the, the, the guy who played third, uh, sorry, fourth, fourth, yeah, George, we'd been chatting quite a few over the weekend and he watched the channel, so... It's great to meet you, George. George. Good lad, his top lad. He is yeah. top lad, we yeah. did, To be fair, I probably should have mentioned, we did meet a lot of people at the GT. Yeah, so it um, was nice to you, meet everyone, so if, to be fair. if you, I met you, or we met you, yeah. and you're still watching, thank you for watching, appreciate you. Uh, it was great to meet everybody. It was. So it was, it was and weird. People got to meet Elliot as well. Cause Elliot, Elliot popped down was there on day, day one. one. Yeah, Elliot popped down he day was one. Getting in the way, you know, as he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think but yeah, he escaped that that, that day. Yeah. So he played George. And he had Dark George. Yeah, Dark Eldar. Mm. Another one. Yes. Um, but this is probably the more typical kind of tournament list you see nowadays. Talos. Um, yeah, three units of two Talos, mm. homunculi. Um, Archons with yeah. raiders, uh, sorry, venoms, again with blasters and dudes in. Right. Um, don't ravages. Think yeah, yeah, two ravages. Void ravens. But he didn't have any void ravens. Oh, I don't think he had any void. Ravens. No, he did not. He didn't not. Correct me if I'm wrong, George. But yeah, yeah. Um, really nice bloke. Uh, mm. Really enjoyed our game actually, and he even got one of our special dice. Like him because he uh, he watches us quite a bit. Top lad. Top lad. Um, but yeah, so. I went first, I believe. Okay. What was the Sorry. mission for game four? I was can't remember. I believe it was. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember the exact name, but there's six objectives. Yeah. And then at the start of turn ah, three. Ah, yes, they disappear. That's yeah. the one, yeah. At the start of turn three, you choose three if you went first. Yeah. Uh, and then you and roll then one of them. You roll D3. whatever you roll. That's it. Um, then the other two disappear, and then yep. the other person does the same. I can't yep. remember what the mission's called. It'll be on the screen now. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can edit this all right. It's just going to look weird. <laughs> it's over here. It's over there. There you go. So that was the mission. Um, so what was was it? Donald Order Um No, again, I'm an anvil. I'm an anvil. That's why I, kept, I, I came literally around. kept rolling fours. You must, you must have just like moved it so fast because it looked like Donwall when I came up. Yeah, up. to be fair, the, the Talos are quicker than you think. Mm. Um, yeah, they are. They, they're really good, obviously, with the um, Prophet of Flesh, I believe it's called, with the four up in one, basically. Yeah, plus one to in one. Yeah, which is really, really strong. Um, this was actually quite a good one. I, I enjoyed this one because I knew I wasn't going to get through the Talos quickly. Right. So I actually went for the backfield stuff first. Um, tried to k- ping a couple of venoms. Tr- I killed both of the ravagers as much mm-hmm. as possible. Makes sense. Ravagers um, are good to get rid. With the reapers um, and the vo- basically all the fire shot the ravagers. Sure. I got a couple shot at the talos. Mm-hmm. So it was again, I think poison is the best way to deal with talos. Rob, the monsters. Yeah, I mean even the dis- disintegrate cannons are winning on fives. Yeah, because the toughness seven yeah. because of the. Um, what, homunculi, the yeah, unit I was shooting plus at. One to plus one to toughness, yeah. Um, yeah, so first turn, I managed to get, I think I killed one of the Ravages and reduced one to two wounds, nice. um, I believe. But like, shut down most of the shine power. Yeah, tried to get, because they, dis- they were dissy ones as well, so, you mm. know, tried to get rid of as much as possible. Makes sense. Um, and then basically just tried to just pummel as much as I could into the... Um, in fact, now I'm getting flashbacks now, now I remember there what happened. I know exactly what happened. Every you know usually I'm crap with blasters, aren't I? Oh, they either no. don't hit oh, no. or they don't wound. No, that's exactly what you do. Right? Sorry, George. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is it's not sorry, George. You should be saying sorry to me. All the poison got through to to wound quite a bit. George made his three up saves, wounded every one now and again, but they hit they can heal and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I managed to get rid of one of the units of Talos, um, just through poison and stuff like that. But for once in ever in this game, every blaster hit. Wow. This is no joke, it, he'll, he'll tell you. Every blaster wounded, but George made every four up save on every <laughs> blaster. I was like, 
oh, I'm going home. <laughs> he, he genuinely did. He made every blaster save. Like fair play, that's that's the dice. Um, but yeah, <laughs> which was upsetting because Top I, I'm rubbish with blasters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ev eventually they actually did come down to poison. Um, I think I killed one on Overwatch to poison. Nice. Um, charging in there, but they they managed to get up. Um, actually, so the two of the units killed two of my flyers mm -hmm. um, because obviously they've got fire now. Yeah. And they could charge and punch flyers to death, which is what, exactly what they did. Fly is super strong. And then they just basically charged because I, I, I had a, a castle of. Because um, I know George didn't obviously have any snipers or anything. So mm -hmm. the wall opened us out with a castle of venoms around him. Yeah. Re -roll hits just re rolling hits and hit Well, ones yeah. and ones. Um, and then. He managed to pull down a couple of the Venoms um, with the uh, Talos, the guys got out, and then it basically become, you know, like a, the old British red coat firing line. It was first <laughs> rank fire, second rank fire. It was just wave after wave of warriors with poison and blasters, and then eventually I killed all of the Talos, Talos that were coming in. Nice. Um, and then it was uh, one Archon left on his own, trying to fight basically my army on his own. Uh, I think on, on George's second roll of a uh, Shadowfield, he saved, he, he failed it, and then got brought down to poison in the yeah. end. Yeah, um, it's gonna happen. That's the best way to kill our just right fire. Yeah, um, and incidentally, actually, it, it went quite well because of the they were the, where the objectives were. They were like three spread over this end and the three spread over that end. Where jo where George actually was, his stayed, mm -hmm. and then where I was, mine stayed. Uh, so he kind of just he's like one stuck each. out there. Yeah. So technically, it was a draw, but I got first blood. And uh, didn't get slay the warlord and got line breaker. Right. Okay. Whereas five three George, yeah, George just got the points. No. Um, but that was a great game. Really nice to meet George. Say a, a fan of the show. So. And um, we got to talk. We were, to be fair, we were talking about Drakari pretty much all the week, all weekend. Yeah. Um, giving each other insights and whatnot. But yeah, mm. really nice guy. Well, there you really go. Nice guy. So, game five. Game five. Three wins, one loss. Mm. Now game five was fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> game five was funny. I was up against Nick um, from Siege. Yeah, it's from the Siege Studios. Studios with his Imperial Knights. They were beautiful. They Again, were they, they were in the camera. The they, yeah, they were amazing. So there, I'm pretty sure there's a picture there. So if and I did find the Eldar yeah. earlier, here's a picture of the Knights. And they are lovely. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they are lovely. They are and they very were, nice. You know, Pleasure to play against. Yeah, really nice. Nick as well. Again, I, I mean to be fair. Every opponent I've had that weekend has been quality. Really nice people. To say it's a, a competitive, you know, kind of tournament. I know a lot of people don't see it as that, but it is because people are trying to, in the end, win something to get to another tournament, aren't they? Sure, so, yeah. If you want to get to the final, it's, it's not quite obviously the the ITC and the ETC kind of circuit, kind of you know, no, heavy different. tournament heavy. But they, there's different. some nasty lists. Yeah. Uh, so with this one, um, Nick was running a the. Not the gallon, the big one with the harpoon the launcher, the Valin. Mm -hmm. uh, two paladins, I believe. Sorry, a paladin and a Erin. So the thermal cannon and the battle cannon one. Okay. And then two the Hellglaves. Warglaves. Warglaves, yeah. The, what, the, Not the Hellglaves, the, the Warglaves. The small yeah. little chainy sword ones. Yeah, with melted ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, Nick went first. What mission was it? Oh, what mission was it? It was ah so your home my home and the two in the middle frontline warfare frontline warfare yeah so 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 if the objective in your deployment zone is worth one you put it the deployment zone is worth four yep. the other two are worth two and vice yep. versa for your opponent that's it um, we actually got Dawn of War in this one he was Dawn of War or it might have been the spearhead assault one okay the pointy tip one yeah so um, I actually went first in this one as well surprisingly so um, you're a bad man well this this is the thing this is why I also like. Especially against the Imperial Knights, I knew what I had to do against the Imperial Knights is survive. Yeah. Because they're not going to, they'll run out of guns eventually. Just stay away from them. Just stay away from them. Yeah. So, I actually sacrificed all of my flyers and put them in a wall in front of him because he can't he can't go through buildings and he also can't walk over my bases. So I stuck him into his deployment zone for two turns. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically just I just built, built put a wall of flyers in front of him that he couldn't move because <laughs> the way the terrain was there was a big there was a big building right in the middle oh my god <laughs> so I had a flyer on top I had uh, two flyers here and then one flyer over there so he had no pathway to walk he had through. no pathway to walk through 
So <laughs> and he can't charge the flyers. And he can't charge enough. the flyers. But he didn't need to. I'll explain to me why he did. So <laughs> turn one, I managed to kill hell, uh, the Warglaive. Um, so kind of next deployment was uh, um, Hellglaive, Imperial Knight, uh, Valiant, Imperial Maybe. Knight. Yeah, Warglaive. basically. Warglaive, yeah. Sweet. So and then managed fly, to kill fly, fly the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I managed to kill one of the um, the the, uh, the war glaives mm -hmm. um, from turn one. Give me first blood. Cool. Um, and then it was pretty much shoot everything at the second hell glaive because I knew I wasn't really going to get through on the imperial knights. So I d didn't really shoot the imperial knights until the second turn. Mm -hmm. I put the two reapers up into the um, webway thing, Imajiggy. Screaming jets, screaming jets, screaming jets. Because luckily, where the terrain was, it, there was a thing. Uh, there was like a big long pylon thing where I could put my stuff on top, where he can't get to me unless he's shooting me. Right. Yeah. So that's fine. They basically so turn one killed the hellglaive. Turn two, uh, t next turn one, he made a right mess of the flyers. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So flamer, harpoon. Yeah. So flamer and the harpoon, the harpoon actually hit every time. So he took. Three of the four flies down with a harpoon. Nice. Um, but look, I, I say, well, sorry, he hit three of the four flies and did the ten damage. Mm. But then I made two or three on each of Power from Pains. They didn't kill you. Didn't he didn't you kill me. I, fa I failed every inbun basically, mm. but he didn't kill me. Um, and then the flame had took out the Void Raven, which he needed to do. Mm. Um, Was it the Relic Flamer? Yeah, the yeah, the, 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 the Retreat was Pyre. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, which is brutal. It's a brutal weapon. I um, shot a couple of missiles um, to get through, obviously through the M1. I think he killed one of the flies with one of those. And then basically the the, the Imperial Knights didn't really do much. Right. I just kind of whiff or I made him ones. Um, so it's all lost, the Valiant. Yeah, basically it, it was all the Valiant. The Valiant was great. Mm. Really was good. Um, he managed to take out a couple of the Venoms. Right. The squads got out and just basically beelined for the objective. Yeah. Stayed there. It's just end game. We just need to make sure you're on him. Yeah. So, um, I mean, high, highlight of of the the game probably. Um, so my turn two, I managed to take a couple of wounds off both the Imperial Knights. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, the Hellglaive managed to get round one of the flyers. The Warglaive. And the Warglaive, sorry, yeah, and charged. <laughs> Charged a venom and then consolidated in the background. So, nice. but it can do the swipe thing, can't it? Yeah, so it's got two modes of attack. Yeah, so he can actually hit me on terrain. I mean, oh, on right. it's devastating reach. Yeah. yeah it's just so his his turn thing. his turn two, he managed to do that because um, yes. I did nothing in my turn two. Really, I just I think I took the the war glaive down to about eight wounds, mm. just not very much. Nice. Um, brought in the reapers. They didn't do a lot. Uh, so. I lost a Reaper in his turn two. Mm -hmm. He put one down to one wound, which annoyed him quite a bit, because that was from Traitor's Pyre as well. Um, killed a couple more Venoms again. Everything that got out of Venom just beelined for the for the objective, because I knew he's not going to get it, because I'm objective skill. Yeah. So I'd, everything just went in there. The Warlord got out of his Venom, stood on the top. Mm -hmm. I knew it was risky, because I knew he's got the stratagem to target characters with no inbuns. Yeah. Um, yeah with the, the uh, shield breaking missiles. missiles. Mm. Um, so, luckily, he didn't get one of those. He got he, he did shoot it, but missed. <laughs> luckily, so lucky. Yeah, and then probably the best part. Oh, so yeah, actually, yeah, that's a lie. I did. I took one of the knights down to fifteen wounds. He'll hate this as well. So I took one of the. I think it was the paladin down to fifteen wounds. Right. <laughs> and my one wound reaper um, got six shots. He's hitting on fives at this point, because he's obviously in his lowest bracket. Six shots, hit five times, so I'm re-rolling ones <laughs> to, to hit. Wounding on fours, I wound uh, four times. Wow. He saves one. Oh no. And then I roll 15 damage to oh. kill him. <laughs> with, the, uh, with, the, with the Reaper cannon, oh, so, which obviously killed him. That um, was terrible. Which, quite pivotal in the end, I think. Because if I had two Imperial Knights walking about shooting me, I was, I was struggling. Yeah. Um, so then I, I basically turbo boosted a Venom and the second in command just to stand because where where the um, actual objective was it was in the middle of the you know the, the Imperial crates. Oh yeah. So yeah. you can't actually see him. Right. So while he stood in there, mm. you can't see him. 
good line of sight blocking. Yeah, so I had a character in there and I just kept throwing stuff in front of an Imperial Knight so he couldn't target the character if he could see him. Yeah, sure. Um, and then in the end, I ended up with... Uh, so all the Venoms have gone apart from one, which the second in command jumped out of. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I ended up with my Warlord and four units of Cabalites just in this building. And he's just, he's just absolutely nailing them all. Wow. I had a unit, basically... The Imperial Knight was chasing a unit around a building. <laughs> Cat and mouse. Yeah, because I, I, I had to survive. Um, he managed to get Warlord because I'd, I'd completely messed up my uh, Consolidate. Right. And he was the closest model, the, uh, and he just got traded by it to death. As you do. Well, he, he did well because he stubbed him first. Obviously, got rid of the invulnerable and then just went, nope. Yeah, it makes sense, and shot me to death. Mm. Um, but then it ended on turn five. With Nick only holding one objective, I held the home objective. He held his own home objective. Right. And I, I held one of the middle ones. Oh. So I was on, I was on first blood. Oh, and a venom went up for the venom that was protecting went up and got line breaker. So you've got three points. So I've got first line breaker. Uh, one for my own, two yeah. for my things. Yeah. Um, first strike, go first blood, and line breaker. Yeah. Um, Nick had um, one for his own. One for his own. Um, Warlord. That's it. That's it. Yeah. And it ended on turn, turn, turn five. five. Turn six, I reckon. Turn six, it. Have, yeah, it'd have won. Turn six, it'd have just it'd have walked around and start me. punching me to death. It's a shame. But yeah, that that again, great game. Really fully enjoyed it as well. Yeah. Um, looks like you had looks like you had a good day. Yeah, yeah. A good so weekend. Four, four on one. one life. Four on one. Yeah. And you came fifth. Fifth. Yeah, got four best game votes, which were nice. Well done. Yeah. Very good. So really enjoyed so it. So thank you to everyone. Seventy-eight players, was it? Yeah. Seventy-eight like players came fifth. Really good, Dan. Yeah. So that was your games. Yeah. So thank you to everyone who played. If you're all yeah. watching, um, I hope to see you at the finals. I think everyone qualified. Actually, I played. Maybe. I think everyone did. Yeah. Mm. I think everyone did. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. How did you do? Ah uh, well, we'll we'll have a top up of tea and coffee, and then we'll go through it. So we're back. Hi, a cup of tea. Hello. With my SM mug. That, man. You got your greeting you for the water mug? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Well, I've got coffee actually. But there you go. So, Danny came fifth. Well done, dude. So, mm. best thing I've ever done. Yeah. Ever. No, ever, no. I've won't before. <laughs> so, I went with Blood Ravens. What else could you have gone with? Someone Without else. borrowing something. <laughs> I was about to say someone else's army, but you beat me to it. <laughs> so, yeah, I went with Blood Ravens. I went with a very. Typical Mikey list. I took the Leviathan. The only Mikey list. As you'd expect. Yeah. Um, and back something new. Fair. I'm going to heat three. I'm thinking something new. Why wouldn't you? Secret list. Secret, secret list. But anyway, so I took all Raven Guard chapter tactics. Um, I had a battalion and a spearhead. I had Gabriel Angelos as a warlord. Could you read all it? Yeah. And Storm of Fire for the minus one. After much deliberation, what actual chapter tactic to take? Yeah. Storm of Fire, extra minus one, you roll a six to wound within six of him, and you roll hits. Standard. Um, I had Lieutenant with Lieutenant Hellstorm, me with the beard. Uh, I had Teeth of Terror and um, just a bolt pistol, I think. No, it, it didn't, I don't think he had the special gun. Um, and then I had three units of scouts, all with bolters, uh, to make up the battalion. And then I had a unit of assault centurions with siege drills, uh, metal guns, and hurricane bolters. And a unit of five aggressors uh, with the auto bolt storm gauntlet. Yep. Yeah, so there's actually it should be a picture. You might have seen a picture of the army because I took pictures this weekend, guys. <laughs> You've all seen mine. You all watched the battle reports. Yeah, exactly. So then <laughs> I took a spearhead. I took a tech marine, uh, just with a power sword. He's got an axe, but it's just a power sword. Yeah. Uh, it's not a power sword. It's a combat weapon. It's a combat me. weapon. It's combat a, weapon. It's a chain sword. Yeah. Uh, bolt pistol, and then I took two rapier carriers with the heavy bolters, the quad heavy bolters, which are just absolutely awesome, yeah. really good. To get the uh, Leviathans in, basically. Yeah. And then, but. Even well, they're good, but yeah, yeah. The tax for getting they two relic leviathans in with two in storm cannons, two heavy, two heavy flamers, and three hunter killers. Forge world for the win. Forge world for the win. Yeah, my my seventeen fifty. Uh, Is it a lot? A thousand points with the forge world. Yeah, because you got Gabriel Angel, so it's two hundred points. Yeah, there's there's not there's not a lot. In it's it a either. small elite army. Yeah, everything elite. packs a punch, and it's quite survivable. Yeah, that's the thing with my army. So. Um, I'm gonna be very rude. I've got, I've got behind my cool mug. I have my phone with picture reminders, uh, so I'll bring them up on screen. Uh, I only took one or two pictures of each game because I didn't want to interrupt the opponent uh, because I have seen that sometimes people recording and stuff and actually like interfering yes. with the game. So I didn't want to make sure I did that. So I basically 
whenever it was their first turn, I took some pictures to yeah. try and give him mental reminders and for you guys. Except for the first game where I completely forgot. So here's a picture of the box of the army on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I played Lewis, a uh, lovely chap, uh, part of the Lords of War Facebook group. Nice. I didn't realise until afterwards, so Lords of War, we, used to, we play with all those guys all the time. However, the first, so the first army was Imperial Soup. Um, and I'll probably try and delve into this a bit afterwards, but Imperial Soup and Dark Eldar were just everywhere. Yes, it was. And uh, Mixed Eldar as well. Mixed there was Eldar, a lot of yeah. Eldar soup. Yeah. So, soup. Just soup. soup everywhere. So the first game, um, he had three detachments. He had a Cadian uh, battalion with company commanders and just stock dudes uh, to get his Curb Sequilla and Grand Strategist to get his only okay. CP. He had a vanguard detachment of uh, shield captain on Donnie called jet bike, a unit of three jet bikes, a unit of four jet bikes, and like a unit of seven jet bikes. That's I tough. think. And a knight gallon. Yeah, the gallons are amazing. The gallons are amazing. The gallons are so. So he spent extra stratagems to get. That's uh, so cheap. It's, yeah, he spent he spent some uh, relics on before the. T- what are they like? What thirty points more than a leviathan? What the gallon? Uh, gallon. If you take hunter killers and storm cannons, it's two points cheaper. The gallon, <laughs> two points cheaper than the leviathan. Wow. So, <laughs> so it used some stratagems to give the um, gallon iron bulwark to four plus invul yeah. and the paragon gauntlet, so it doesn't suffer the miners with the eight damage vest. Yeah, which is really cool. So the mission again was dominate destroy. So hold the objective, get a point, and kill you to get a point. So uh, I was already on the back foot because I hadn't got any units because mm-hmm. all the guards were miles away. It was hammer and anvil deployment. And he went first. There was a lot of hammer and anvil. Yeah, there really was. Like, look, scanning over the tables, there was like, yeah. a lot of hammer and anvil. But this was the everything. So the mission was against me. Uh, the deployment was against yeah, me, and he went. And he went first. I was just on the back foot before it even rolled. Well, I rolled first ten dice. So basically, I set up my aggressors and centurions quite aggressively. So he's got basically like a line of guardsmen. And then he's got his bikes just behind, his gallant on one flank, shield captain in the middle with... Oh, yeah, the miners wanted to hit banner as well for the yeah, custodians. Yeah, the Vexilla. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he had the Vexilla holding the miners one to hit banner. And then he had Does all the guardsmen. the guard as well? No. It's just, just the custodians. Just okay. custodians for that, for that particular banner. Yeah, and then he had the guardsmen stopping me deep striking behind him, which makes sense. So I couldn't get behind him, so I had to go aggressively. I basically went just out of line of sight and in cover. Yeah, as you do. So basically he went first. His custodians jet bikes jumped over. Shot and charged my centurion's aggressors and killed pretty much killed them all. I managed to intervene with the, he basically charged both of them in into one one unit in the unit of four into uh, the centurion's unit of three into the aggressors. He hit the aggressors first because they were easy to kill, so yeah. I intervened with my centurions and killed a couple, which is nice. Because centurions are pretty good in combat. They are pretty good. Well, especially the assault ones. ones. Yeah. <laughs> Damage four. Yeah. And, and then the unit of seven. I think I think it was unit seven. I might be using five. It was a big unit anyway. They kind of went forward with the shield captain bubble wrapping mm-hmm. him, and the gallant advanced. Uh, he's got land strider as well. Yeah. Roll two. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No, he's got iron bulwark. Obviously, he's not yeah. got land strider. That was another game. Um, so he basically just charged him forward, killed all my frontline stuff, killed some scouts, got first blood, got loads of points. It was like I think he was like seven or eight points up before I'd started. My turn one. Um, my wife and stood still because you know, they were too close. I had the heavy bolters just behind them. I essentially shot all the storm cannons, all the heavy bolters into the custodies bikes. And um, I'm trying to open my phone for the picture reference. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put all the hunter killers into the gallant, which then got a three pin run. Yeah. So well, I did because the um, rotate iron shield. Yeah, so rotate iron shield. So I did about four wounds to the gallon, but I killed on most of the bikes. <laughs> so all the bikes are pretty much gone. There's a I couple here at, the, and there. at that point. I think the bikes are more threatening. Yeah, because they, they are faster shoot and they are quicker and they bubble wrap, which yeah. I didn't want. I need my guns. So I wanted to kill the knight. Really I wanted that to get rid of that first, but I couldn't. So essentially, that had like. 20 odd wounds left, maybe just under 20. He had a couple of bikes here and there with the shield captain. So then his turn two, the bikes and the gallant come forward. Uh, he advanced the gallant and then full tilted for two CP so he could still charge. Still charge, yeah. Um, the bikes came forward like the shields. I basically had a Leviathan with Gabriel and, t- and the lieutenant behind here. They had another Leviathan here and they had the heavy bolters here. And essentially he charged the shield captain and the bikes into one Leviathan. He charged the gallant into another. So then what happened? Um, the gallant attacked first with his paragon gauntlet. Mm-hmm. Did you not kill any in Overwatch? That is, yes. You, you, excuse me. I killed a bike in Overwatch. Right. I was going to say, did you not shoot him? But then the <laughs> Leviathan. <laughs> don't know what the Leviathan did to the gallant. Oh dear God. Did like 15 wounds to it, to the gallant. 
So he, he basically got into combat with eight wounds left. Right, so he's not as effective. So he's hitting on fours? Uh, he's hitting on... He's, yeah, he's hitting on fours at that point. Fours, he's, yeah. no, he's using Hawk's Shroud, so he's hitting on full, yeah, full whack. Right, so two yeah. Yeah. So he's... Oh, no, he's not, because it's super heavy. You, you're confusing me. Start again. Leviathan did, like, 10 to 12 wounds in Overwatch to yeah. the Gallon. Killed a couple of bikes for the other one. So the bikes were in combat with one Leviathan on full wounds. Uh, the Gallon had, like, four wounds, uh, or maybe eight wounds left. So he charged those two, but then Gabriel Angelos intervened. Um, and he didn't need... Basically, uh, Lewis attacked with the Gallant first. Got two wounds through and a passed one, so the Leviathan took eight. Eight damage, yeah. Eight damage because he used the fist, which he would. Uh, but didn't death grip Gabriel, which I was surprised at. Hmm. Which is a very good tactic because you don't have to be in comp... You don't have to charge it to do death grip. No, you, you can charge one thing, it, and right. if you're in base contact with it, you can death grip and crush you to death. So yeah. I got quite lucky there. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I then next time Lewis next time Lewis death grip <laughs> I then intervened with Gabriel yeah attacked the you... gallon and left him on three wounds because he's got a thunder hammer which is awesome and today if, if he death grip you because he can throw you then can't you as well uh, would, he, would you then be able to do retribution even though he's lobbed he you? can't he can't throw an infantry can you a monster and vehicle like, oh, okay. so so like, ret- retribution if you get killed in the fight phase then you right. do d3 yeah. mortal wounds so I would have still hit him yeah with d3 mortal wounds and I would have been able to fight again with uh, death only death to duty okay. end but yeah so I basically left the gallant on three wounds and then the three I think it was like two bikes and the shield captain hit the leviathan mm-hmm. killed him killed the leviathan who's on full wounds right which blew up it blows up on a five everything within nine inches take d3 more wounds including the gallant which then died yeah because he took three wounds as you do and then the, my leviathan took a couple of wounds everyone else took a couple of wounds the bikes took some wounds so he yeah, basically had one bike on one wound a shield captain uh, in my in my uh, half so, so blowing up helped you more than injured you it did yeah because he wouldn't have been able to shoot anyway no. what it did it blew up the gallon which then meant my leviathan went in combat went in combat mm. which good so then I healed it three wounds as you do take, so, take so it was back up to like seven or eight so it was on full bracket again mm-hmm. uh, no it was I think it was just below for full bracket because it was on eight then it took d3 more wounds and I healed it three so it was yeah. just just below yeah Um so then he's hitting on three, so if he don't move, we roll in. So basically I killed all the bikes. So then he's got a banner and the guardsman left on my turn two. So then basically I moved the Leviathan forward, kind of swapped some, one of my uh, rapier carries had been killed at that point. So I kind of put the the crew that was here. So there was a gun here and a gun here. What happened was this gun had died. So this crew advanced onto this objective and then this one moved onto that objective. Which you can't see. it. Yeah, exactly. So they had one at the back, not doing anything now, but then the heavy bolter being able to gun down the yeah. guardsman. And the Leviathan basically moved forwards, moved forwards, and kept getting healed. Got to about turn five. I think the score is 18 17 to Lewis. The Black it, 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 it hidden all the guardsmen and the Vexilla out of the way so I couldn't shoot them with the Leviathan because it basically there's a big building in the middle, which is quite common in a lot of my games. Yeah, there's a nice big building I, in the middle. There was, which was I think, on amazing. most boards. There was GW have done pull their ass out to do yeah. that. It's really good. Uh, basically, if the game ended, Lewis would have won one point, yeah. but didn't. He rolled three, so I took another turn. The Leviathan came around, killed all the guardsmen, gave Angelos and the lieutenant charged into the Vexen and killed him. And then he scored some more points in his turn so he, because he was holding objectives. Yeah. So basically, ended on turn six, and I think I won 22 21. Nice. So it was turn close. five, he was going to win by one point, turn I think, six, I won by one point. I think point. that's the thing with a lot of these, they're very close games. All yeah. of them were close games. Yeah, exactly. They weren't really any whitewashers. No. As such. So, um, but yeah, that was super tough. And, you know, a really, really strong army. Uh, just, I got lucky. I got lucky. Do Overwatch doing like 15 wounds was just exactly what I That's needed. That's what you need in it in it big is. games. Yeah. Bit of luck. So, game one, I'm on a win. I'm doing well. I left him with a company commander, so I've got like mm. 1720 points. It's probably no, no, actually, you know, something to note that we actually didn't play each other for once in a tournament. Oh, that's true. We always play each other in tournaments, regardless of where we go. Yeah. I think it's probably the only one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. For the last maybe six mm. weird it's very weird playing five different people I didn't know yeah but there you go T- game two I played against Dark Eldar yeah I played against John John a lovely chap I've known for years I, I, re- I met at the GT final and I was like I remember you and then I remembered he used to play at our local taking Revenant Titans on Sky yeah. Shield landing pads in 7th 
Top lad. <laughs> that guy knew how to cheese. Yeah. So I played against John. He was using Dark Hell there. He said he had uh, six Talos. Yeah, this is another variant as well because we talked about this earlier. This is probably the strongest the one. The strongest I've seen. variant. So he had two, three units of two. Um, he had some Cabalite Warriors with a, a Black Heart. He had three Dissy Ravagers with an Archon with the Labyrinth to give reroll ones yep. to hit and wound. Uh, and three Void Raven Bombers. And they are filth. Mm-hmm. So um, I went first. Because, why not? So my Centurions and Aggressors infiltrated. Yep. And my Leviathans opened up, my Centurions opened up, got into combat and stuff, and left him with one or two Talos. I think it was one Talos left. Yeah. Before he'd started. I half killed the Void Raven Bomber, and I killed most of the Warriors. Um, which was absolutely horrific, and he pretty much thought he'd lost them. It was yeah. Ascension, so I'd scored loads of points by holding objectives as well, because it's just hold a point. So I'd scouted, because he had nothing to charge, I'd used all my scouts to just jump on objectives. Did he have the scythes or the lances on the Void Ravens? On the Void Ravens? Did they do D6 or D3? Uh, D3. Yeah, so he had the scythes, yeah. They're yeah. the better ones, I think. Yeah. For D3 shots each. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should basically be the same as the Hemlock ones. Right. So that's they're exactly the same weapon. Right, okay. But they're not. <laughs> no. So they were really good. Um, so I did that turn one. Then his turn, he basically came over with the Void Raven Bombers, bombed the Leviathans, shot the Leviathans, left one on like, I think, I can't remember if he killed one turn one, or he left one like super crippled. Um, but like, he deep struck all his, he put his dis- Disintegrate Ravagers in reserve, deep struck them back down turn one, um, shot into the Leviathans. So he crippled two Leviathans turn one. Um, but I healed them up. As you do. Yeah. Uh, he killed all my Centurions and Aggressors turn one, because I think he bombed them or poisoned them. And then, and then my Leviathan kept, he charged the Talos into one of my Leviathans that was right turn one he charged one of my Leviathans with the, with the remaining Talos and the Human Kali and the other one was dead because mm-hmm. he got bombed three t- twice or three times I think <laughs> he got bombed twice that was right because one of them couldn't reach bombs, yeah. Yeah, so one, I left one of them on one wound and it, and it, it was a corner deployment search and destroy um, he put three flies in the back corner I was in this corner so I hunt killed them mm-hmm. Um so he had one on one which couldn't really do anything but bomb the aggressors yep. and then the other two bombed the leviathans um, so yeah he tied up a leviathan turn one he killed the other one and yeah I was like this is going to be really tough now but then Gable got into combat killed the Talos mm-hmm. the uncle I ran away and I kept shooting the heavy bolters at the ravages kind of started whittling them down yeah. turn two he, pretty sure he killed my leviathan the last one because he'd ran away no actually turn two he survived what he did he ran out of combat and popped smoke so now he's minus two to hit. So he didn't kill it. Wow. So turn three, I returned fire at some uh, flyers and some ravages, kind of like took them, really whittled them down, but he yeah, survived because he had black pop, heart. Pop smoke's not actually kind of, a, it's, it's not a shoot. Instead it's of shooting, shooting yeah, it's just, it doesn't say you it can't, just says in can't the, shoot. It just says in the shooting phase, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah so I didn't shoot any guns, so I popped smoke, so now I've got the life and at minus two with four up in one because yeah. he's raving dad. Yep. So he survived. All right, he, all right, right. later, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so then I kind of shot in some Ravagers, I shot in some Void Ravens, and because he's Black Heart, he actually managed to survive. So he had like a Ravager yeah. and one, one on... He's so powerful, Black Heart. Yeah, he had like one on two wounds, one on four wounds, one on full health yeah. for the Ravagers, all just sat in the corner. Were the Bombers Black Heart as well? Um, pretty sure they were, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty sure. Um, it's, I think it was only the Talos that weren't. They just yeah, they can't be in because they're wrong one. Yeah. Um, so then... His turn three, I think, he killed the Leviathan. Um, he started killing my backline stuff, my scouts and stuff. Yeah. I saw some hiding, I basically like a unit in the middle, they died. Uh, because it was search and destroy, so we set up here, but the objectives were like kind of across. So I had scouts hiding here, I had scouts hiding here, and then I had my blob in the middle of like Gabriel and that. And then turn four, uh, Gabriel charged into combat with three Ravagers and killed two of them. Like a boss. Yeah, and then... Um, he returned fire, Gabriel died, the human Cly died, Lieutenant Hellstorm chopped him up, which is cool. And then it was end of, it was John's turn, it was turn five, I had a rapier carrier, two units of scouts, and the lieutenant left. Mm-hmm. John had one Archon and two flyers left. So all I've got to do is kill the Archon to table him, and I win. And I'm, I'm massively up on points, I think it was like 18 1 to me. It'd be a shame if it weren't a model with two pin, but money. 
it would be a shame and that's exactly <laughs> what happened so basically I shot everything into the Archon and he kept his two pin did you actually five. keep it all? Wow. yeah he did he survived <laughs> what a boss <laughs> so then the Archon charged the rapier crew killed the rapier the flyers killed the two units of scouts and the lieutenant and that was it game over I got tabled yeah. so we both lost game two no I lost game three. Oh, right. never mind <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so it was a really good game. John was convinced that tabling didn't mean auto win, so I was like, oh, I've won anyway. And then we went and checked it. He was like, no, if you table, you yeah, win. It's, yeah, it's, it's rule book, isn't it? Yeah. So. so there you go, that was um, that was game two. But but the, the, the daft thing is, is so like, even though you would have, if you'd have killed the Archon, you'd have technically tabled him. Yeah. But you don't get the points for the Flyers because they're still technically on the no. board. So you don't get the kill points, but you get the yeah. max win, essentially. So. If it ever come down to a tiebreak or anything like that, it's, yes. it's yeah, it's a bit weird how it works. But yeah, exactly. Because we, we, I have, think at the last one we were at, they clarified that. Yeah, at GW. Yeah, there you go. So I lost the second game, which is a bit of a shame. I was a bit gutted, but there you go. I play Space Marine, so I'm always gonna be on the back foot yeah. against Dark Hello, which is like a brand new codex, pretty much. So then game three, I played Matt, a lovely chap, and he had World Eaters. Yeah, and a Brass Scorpion. Parker says it's the big guy. With yeah. and he had two Decimators with Soul Burners. He had some cultists, some yeah. world eaters, some combos there because he really knows. I've played Matt before as well. Such a nice guy. Yeah. I, I really, it was horrible, but it was a really fun game. He went first because he seized on me. It was Scorched Earth, it was Frontline Warfare, so it's like the, the pointy dawn of war. Yeah. Um, Brass Scorpion rocked up with the Decimators, looked at Leviathan, shot it with its like super awesome cannon. Mega killer cannon. One wound, you've deemed me for, just got like one wound and I passed it safe. And the brass scorpion was it like three d six shots? Or something stupid. As it's well? d six shots. It's like two d six damage or something. <laughs> and it's twenty four inch range. Ah, okay. Oh, no, no else shoot twenty four inch range. You can shoot me. I can shoot you. So I've got storm cannons. I've got forty from seven minus two two damage shots and six hunter killers firing straight back at the brass scorpion. Yeah. The first one left the brass scorpion on two wounds. So the, the second Leviathan then split fire, shot a decimator, and that didn't kill the decimator but left it really low. Um, Centurions shot a melt gun into the Brass Scorpion, did six wounds, because he can't <laughs> kill them as well. Did six wounds with one melt gun, which is just, just rude. Which absolutely nailed it. And then um, I think one of the stone cannons split fire into the Rhino, popped one of them. And then the aggressors kind of shot a rhino and then charged to kill the rhino. a lot of the um, combzerkers and stuff, didn't he? Yeah, two units of eight. He had two units of eight yeah, yeah. combzerkers. I've played him before, yeah. Yeah, he had a lord in each one to re roll and one to hit. One of them had a champion to re roll one to wound in combat. Right. I think I think they're called champions or something they're like that. champions. Yeah. yeah. And then he had a unit cultists at the back and a spawn and two decimators. Spawny, spawny. Yeah. So after I kind of killed the brass scorpion, left a decimator on like one wound. Decimators of the soul burner. Two twin soul burners. Yeah. So they auto if they hit they cause them all wounds. Nasty. They're very good, but they're too expensive. Yeah, they're like two hundred and sixty yeah. points or something like that. Yeah. Um so yeah, after I did that turn one it was kind of a given that I probably won this one. Yeah, because I can imagine the Bash Scorpion is quite a big point sink as It's like yeah. seven, eight hundred points or something. Yeah. It's it's nearly half of the points. army. Yeah. And it did nothing turn one and then I retaliated and killed yeah, it. Everything. <laughs> so it was awfully rude, but Matt was a top lad. It was really, really good. We went and bought me beer. You know, there you go, and that's a winner in itself. Exactly, so we got beer. So, yeah. end of day one, yeah. two wins, one loss. So, we are matched now. We are there matched we go. now, yeah. So, going into day two, I played John. I'm pretty sure it was called John. If, I, if it's not John, I apologise. But he's a lovely chap. He's playing Imperial Knights. So, we've all Imperial Knights. Pure Knights. And I can't quite remember what. I'm pretty sure he had a Crusader. With the Endless Fury, Gatling Gun, that's and. Four Knights. That's Four Knights. Yeah. It's Four Knights, that's it. Uh, yeah, so he had a Crusader Gat with the Endless Fury and a Thermal Cannon with Iron Bulwark. Uh, he had a Paladin with the Ignore Line of Sight pod. Yep, yeah, oh, the um, Iron Spear. Yeah, and that was his actual Warlord, and he had two of armor save. Um, he basically just used loads of strategies to get loads of Warlord traits. Well, uh, <laughs> then he had an Erin and another Paladin on the flank with the Icarus Cannon, as you can see from the picture because I'm looking at it now. So essentially, this was six objectives. Uh, you choose one at start of turn three, one disappears. Yeah, disappears, yeah. Um, so I placed all my scouts up high in buildings where he couldn't get me, um, just so I could keep gunning them down. And do you know what? The scouts, if, if you're watching, John, those scouts were great because those scouts alone did like maybe eight wounds to knights during that game. Scout, oh, anything like that. 
the chaff. It's just loads of shots. Better. It's yeah. every turn. Because the, the chaff is great against because, because, of, because if you look at the picture, they've got to walk through them because they've got yeah. to go through the tunnels, the channels, as you blocked yeah. off with your flies. Well, your actually, incidentally, saying that, but we, uh, Nick, I think I did more wounds with poison than I did blasters against Nick. Right. Well, there you just, go. It's just, just you got your fire. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I went first. Mm-hmm. Because I because he rolled really low on the plus one. See, so obviously he got the plus one. Rolled really low and then failed to seize. And as you can see, I deep struck. Well, deep struck infiltrated my aggressors and centurions right in front of his warlord, in front of his paladin and Eren. Uh, kind of out of the way of the crusader because I was like, I'm going to deal with that later. But I counter deployed because it was it was dawn of war. I basically put my scouts down and put my two units in reserve. He'd yeah. already deployed his entire army. So I basically went, well, you your stuff is like here. The biggest here. threat is over here, so I'm going to deploy there. Yeah. As you can see with the Leviathans in the back corner. So the Leviathans and one rapier carrier opened up and left his paladin on his flank on one wound. The centurions and the aggressors shot and charged into his paladin warlord, left him on two wounds. Yeah, because they don't get the even in combat, do they? No, and he's using Hawk Shroud. Yeah, so he gets the so he gets double wounds. Double wounds. He he actually used the Overwatch strategy for two CP a Hawk Shroud Knight within twelve can Overwatch much like Tau do. Yeah, he's so he Overwatch with the uh, and he can make a two D six heroic intervention. <laughs> so he did, like a counter charge. Did that yeah. with the Crusader, killed yeah. like a Centurion or two on the way in, <laughs> uh, but then failed to intervene to get into combat because he was like nine inches or something. And he failed. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's worth a try though. It's that. always worth a try yeah. because it's just you get to shoot with the endless fury, which on a six you get double hits. <laughs> Which is super good, um, but yeah. So then I left that on one wound. And I think I attacked twice with the centurions. I was like, kind of did it because they're yeah. minus four in combat, so you yeah. had six up saves for this all odd. Yeah. Three damage, wounding on like threes, which is which. Really four good. damage. No, it's minus four, three damage. All right, four, four yeah. damage. No, it's minus. I'm minus, thinking of the uh, contempt to uh, chain fist. Yeah, so it's minus four and three damage. So then his turn one. He basically pulled out of combat. He didn't have enough movement to jump over my stuff, so he's probably yeah. had to pull back. Yeah, because the bases are bigger, aren't they? And yeah. The centurions. Uh, the errant kind of dealt with that. But it couldn't down the front line, which I expected to happen. But what that did was gave me another turn to then use my Leviathans yeah. completely unscathed. Yeah. So he I think at that point in him, though, you'd, you'd want to get rid of the stuff that's punching you to death and ignore. Oh yeah, it, it was. It was like you start shooting the Leviathans. The minus one to hit, the super tough to kill, yeah. or you deal with the stuff in front of you. Yeah. Well, if you don't That's deal with the stuff in front of you, anyway. you shoot and charge you again because you've got metal guns and drills. Yeah. So, so then my turn two, he killed all that. He tried popping some um, storm spears into the Leviathans and they missed, and, or didn't wound, or didn't, you know. Didn't do anything. And then, so my turn two, I sat still, I killed a paladin, and I killed the other paladin, and I think I half damaged the errant, but it was still okay. working on full wounds. So basically, you've got the big building in the middle where the scouts are. Let's just pull this up. You've got the big building where the scouts are. The, um, the Crusader had moved up to the first channel around the Bastion, and then the Errant had moved to, alongside it. So you basically had a knight here, the big building here where my scouts were, and then another knight here. So then at the start of my turn three, we roll for objectives, and he'd already killed the scouts on the top of the middle of the building because I put an objective right at the top, and that's the one that stayed. Wow. Uh, so I was like, great. <laughs> I've got nothing up there and I've got to charge over. So basically my turn three, the scouts are in the Bastion were still alive, so they basically jumped out behind the knight and were like going out, we're gonna go over that objective if you don't deal with us. <laughs> yeah, sneak out. Yeah. So then I shot into the crew yeah, basically I think he had one command point at this point. Um, and I took my first Leviathan and he went, I'm going to put a Storm Cannon into this one, which has a 5 up in one. I'm going to put a Storm Cannon into this one, which has a 4 up in one, the Crusader. Would you like to use the Rotate Iron Shields? And he did on the Errant. So you shot the one. So they both got a 4 up in one, yeah. so I thought the biggest threat is the Crusader, so I shot into that one and killed it. And it was also meant my scouts, which are running for the objective, were fine. Yeah, to run, run along. Yeah. Run along, little scouties. So the turn 5, um, the Errant got right in my face. Um, I believe it got into combat with the Leviathan and killed it. Yeah, which I'm pretty right. sure, but it only had like 12 wounds left or something. Okay. Um, didn't manage to get into co- in combat with the other one, um, and we're back in a second. <laughs> We've got a guess. Hi, we're back. Hello, sorry about that. So, yeah, so he killed the Leviathan in combat with the Errant with the Chainsword, because he only wounded on three, because he only had 12. Yeah. Um, managed to make a couple of saves, but then he got through. So my other one went, well, I'm going to shoot everything into you. <laughs> Gabriel Angelo's charged in, killed him in combat, I think, and that was it, he tabled that point. So, really fun game. It's all or nothing with Knights, yeah. isn't it? If you like, that's the thing. Yeah. 
and you know, I got John to say he was uh, he had a big massive beard, <laughs> and I was like, when you say Endless Fury, say like Brian Blessed. He's like, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do it. And I was like, go on. And then he did it, so I gave him a favourite game vote. Yes. Boom. <laughs> yes. It's very fun. So I've got three wins, one loss. Going into round five. Um, and I played someone I played before. I played Rich, who was playing Blood Angels, which I was quite surprised to be at this point. Mm. So Rich obviously showed his uh, tactical acumen. I think that's the right term. I think, it, really I think well. at this point we were both like, oh, we're on the same. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so we were like, ooh, Com- competing, kind yeah. of. Who's going to get top? So Rich was playing Blood Angels. He had a big blob of Sangry Guard, big blob of Death Company, as you'd expect. He had Devastators. He had Lamartis. He had Mephiston. Smash Captain. Slanguinius. It's pretty much only where you can run a minute. Yeah, really. And then so you had a rapier, thunderfire cannon, yes. rapier cannon, uh, fum, quad fum, cannon, fum, fum, fum. and then two units of intercessors. So basically, what happened was, is it was frontline warfare. The mission what was the mission. It was the frontline warfare. Yeah. Frontline assault deployment. Um, so he had spearhead assault. Spearhead assault. That's it. So he had one objective in in his base where all his devastators are. I had mine here. We had two there. Um, and basically what he had is he had like a little tower like the Sector Mechanicus tower thing yeah. with the little sounds top. very much like my game <laughs> so what he did he put all the Devastators in that with Miss yeah. Fiston and some Scouts in front of him um, and then he put the Intercessors in a big massive ring around it so I can get anywhere near it and then he had the Quad Gun Lamar the Smash Captain right about hiding in our line of sight so I went first mm-hmm. because I'm rude like that the Centurions and the Aggressors basically got right up next to him um, and the Leviathans could only reach um, the Intercessors. Yeah, the, the screening unit. Yeah, so I put the Hunter Killers into the Devastators and then I killed all the Intercessors with the Leviathans. Yeah, which, which is that always going to happen anyway. Yeah, you put the, sang- <laughs> you put the Sangry Guard and Death Company in reserve. Yeah. Which I mentioned. And then the Centurions and the Aggressors bolted into, um, like, I think it was the, the last of the Devastators and then. I think they tried going for the rapier carry and didn't do anything. Okay. So essentially, you had that on the board, and that by the end of it, you had the rapier character, uh, the rapier carrier, um, the quad gun, the Marty smash captain, Mephisto, and left. Yeah. So I kind of killed all his bottom line stuff. So his turn one, he had to bring down the Sangre Guard and Death Company. Yeah. Um, which makes sense. So he brought down the Sangre Guard in his deployment zone with yeah, a which 12, to it, yeah, a unit of 10. Loads of power sword, loads of power fist and yep. stuff. The Incar Mines. Within 12 inches of my aggressors. So I, you know, I was very all, rude. All scanned it. So I all spec scanned it. And I rolled like 500 million shots. Because they didn't charge anything. So three of them were double shooting, two of them weren't. Yeah. I would roll, roll 500 million shots while they were deploying them. Because I was just like, if you're going to go there, I'm going to roll spec scan you. And he was like, this is the other place I'm going to go. So I said, well, while you're deploying them and sorting them out, and putting the Death Company also fairly close because I was near his deployment zone at this point. He was putting the Death Company out. I was like, I'll just roll on my hat, hit some wounds. I got like 14 wounds and he saved all but two. <laughs> so I killed Lad. one. <laughs> Lad, <laughs> killed yeah. one. Sanguinary Guard. I wish I'd kind of shot the Death Company because it would have been easy to do because they've only, they only got one wound. But there you go. So basically what happened was is I've got my aggressors here, my Centurions here. He shot everything into the Centurions, left them with one. With, 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 with. Boop, with one. Boop, boop, boop. Um, and then the Sanguinary Guard and Smash Captain. Smash Captain came up and just went, I'm going to charge everything that's within 12. And I was like, why? And he was like, well, you can't overwatch. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to decide where I'm going to go. So he charged, he could only get into the aggressors. And then the Sanguinary Guard basically just went, whoop, and bubble wrapped my aggressors. And I was like, oh no. I think he played um, Jamie as well. He did play Jamie earlier. Yeah, yeah. He did exactly the same thing to one of the uh, Hellhounds. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah. all you got to do, bubble wrap. Yeah. So my aggressors. You can't move. <laughs> it, it attacked with Smash Captain, killed like two aggressors, so I intervened, and the aggressors hit and killed like three Sangre Guard, yeah. to a point where it didn't have enough, quite enough to bubble wrap, but then I, I died to morale. As you do. So I was like, I was like, if I pass morale, I'm going to command point in. So I died to morale, so they were all out of combat now. Uh, but also in that turn one... Uh, Did you get your re-roll? No, because if you, if you, you may re-roll failed morale checks oh I mean you wanted to die I wanted to die right, so I went to because I was right in the middle yeah, yeah. so I wanted to die so I was yeah. like if I pass I'm going to command point to fail Yeah. because I needed like a 5 to pass yeah. so but also what happened was Mephisto had jumped off the building cast wings of swank swanguinius 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 <laughs> jumped over the building over my screen and then he charged Gabriel Angelos with red rampage what a, what a lad it was so awesome so cool so Mephisto was flying in 
you know, with his sword and he struck Gabriel down. Because you're retributing. And death, only in death does duty end. So Gabriel just waited for him, just like, it was kind of like uh, baseball. He was yeah. like waving up his hammer and just went, but doing, <laughs> just fl- knocked him flying. So you both killed each other. He threw his sword at me on the way, and that's what I ah, imagine. Right. So Mephiston flew in, threw his sword at Gabriel, and just as it hit him, he swung his hammer and hit Mephiston. I think Mephiston looks like an anime character anyway. It does, it, it does, yeah. the flowing golden locks and a big sword. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> so Mephiston went flying and died, and then so uh, yeah. I died, but then I did retribution. I think I caused like 15 wounds to Mephiston. I think I maxed out on damage, because he didn't have an in one, he's got two No, he doesn't, he's just got two So he's got five up save, ignores damage. I think I did like 15 wounds, he saved like three of them, so he took 12 yeah. damage. Which is just awfully funny. Which is just daft why I didn't have an in one. No. Um, and I think at that point the Death Company got into a unit of scouts, which um, I think they just disengaged. So the Death Company was in cover, the Sanguine Guard were just outside, so Leviathan just went. <laughs> yeah. Didn't kill them all. No, because they get the six up. Like, red six, well, no, six, no, six up ignore damage. Um, so then they charged. I think what happened was it was Slanguinius, uh, the Ancient from the Sanguine Guard. Yeah. And there was another character, Lamartis. Lamartis. Charged one of the Leviathans. Um, so that couldn't shoot. So the other one advanced away. We got no backline stuff. My Centurion had killed the rapier quad gun mm-hmm. and stuff. So my Centurion was on his home objective, so that was scoring me four points. He had the three characters left. So then the Leviathan was stuck in combat, so I couldn't shoot them. So then um, the Lieutenant charged in, killed the banner guy, which is awesome. The ancient man. Yeah, the ancient. And then he attacked into the Leviathan and killed it. So then his characters came out. I think he failed the charge against the Leviathan with Smash Captain. Right. So then the Leviathan just opened up. And it was like, I think it was like turn four, I think I ended up tabling Rich. It was a really good game, really fun, a lovely chap. I played him a couple of times with the, like throwing the skulls and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But it was that point where I went first, killed all his bottom line stuff, so he had to deep strike. Yeah. Not where he wanted to be. He wanted to deep strike turn two. Yeah. But, but the problem was is if he would have gone first and managed to kill all my screen, he would be fine. Yeah. But if it would have failed to kill the screen, He's going to be like 18 he's, inches away yeah, from uh, Modern Leviathans because yeah. of the scouts in the way. So that's kind of what the army does. The scouts always screen if I need to. If not, they infiltrate onto objectives out of the way. Yeah. And they really just they become distractions. They could say our, our armies are very different. Mm-hmm. Mine's built to win the mission, basically. Yours has to kind of go for the tabling, doesn't it? Yeah. Really. Nine really, times out of ten. Yeah, it can score points where it wants to, especially yeah. with because I've got this frontline assault of aggressors and centurions. Yeah. They will always die, but if you don't kill them, yeah, they will just keep hitting you and then hold objectives as well. Yeah. In progressive scoring, where I've got three units of scouts, let's say there's, the opponent's got no deep strike, let's say like knights, mm-hmm. for example, um, the scouts can just drop onto three objectives because yeah. they're in the cover anywhere anyway they want, and hold where they want, and then the aggressors and centurions either get in the way or they do the same, yeah. just hold more objectives because then you've got to deal with this, and the Leviathans will just keep gunning stuff down. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, that's why Raven God works for you into. I think. I think. I think. I used to play Ultramarines. I think Raven God much better actually. I've decided. Um, but yeah. So after all that, Dan, we mm. both on four wins and one mm. loss, and you came fifth. I came fifth. Yeah. 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 Because but, you, like I say, because mine's not built to table armies, whereas yeah. yours is. You, I think you got one more yep. secondary so, than me, didn't you? I did. So we both. We both. You got more favorite games. I got more favorite games. You got. I got more favorite, favorite armies. armies yeah. You got was it two and three, and I got four and two. No, I got three and three. Three and three, yeah, I got, yeah. I got four and two. So basically the way GT scores work, you have your win, win, loss, points, we're both on the same. Yeah. And then you have favourite game, favourite army added on. Yeah. So I had, as I said, three favourite game, three favourite army, so that's another six. That's basically another win on my score. Yeah. You had uh, four favourite games, two, two favourite armies, so another six. So we're both on the same. And then you Dan won. scored 11 secondaries, which is your Warlords, Line Breakers and stuff like no, that. I think I scored nine and you scored ten. Oh, well, there you go then. Yeah. Either you, way. Yeah. So I came fourth. Bad boys. I beat Dan, which was great. Just. just. Basically, because he's he still can... angry about it, because I'm just thinking it's No, because I, I needed one more best game vote, and I could have won an award anyway. Mm. He would have won an award. Just prove that you, you, you can be a nice person and get up to the, near, the, near the top. Exactly. Well, you have to be. There you go. You have to be a nice person. You have to have a nice looking army as well. And have the look, to be fair. To be fair to all my opponents, I'll hope they admit I was lucky that weekend with a lot of the stuff. Yeah. I think, I'm going to say I got quite lucky with my opponents. I didn't yeah. play against Craft World. Yeah. Well, I, I played against first Inari. in every game. Yeah. Which is what I need to do. Or, like I say, turn one, 
uh, on a lot of, a lot of occasions Drakari die quite horribly. Yeah. Unless you play defensively, yeah. obviously. But yeah, I, I, it was a good week. But we did. I, we both played. Um, you know, pure good armies. Well. Yeah, we did. Yeah. All my opponents were great. Yeah. I absolutely. Fought. I couldn't. It was really difficult to choose two favourite games. It was. Except for John, got Brian Blessed vote. Yeah. He was going to get win that every time. I'm gonna um, say if I could, I'd give him one best game vote. Yeah. It was, but it was really good. But like, we were probably one of the very few armies which were running a pure, pure one army, keyword. Yeah. yeah. Keyword detachment army. Yeah. There was a lot of Drakari, but they were using multiple cults on ah, yeah. Mark Mark sneaked in there, didn't he? So yeah, so Mark was the highest scoring well he finished second. second. Yeah. Yeah. But he was super. He was super, but he, he was put down as Drakari, yeah. yeah. And do you know how I know he had a false ear? Because I borrowed it in. <laughs> <laughs> you lent it in. Yes. <laughs> but obviously Scott won. Scott won, yes, yeah, Scott, Scott Nichols. Scott Nichols is a good friend of ours, he won with pure demons, he used uh, yeah, Nurgle demons. demons. yeah. And a surprise, if you watch this far. Scott will be filming a battle report with us soon. We're going to have a heat one-off. Yep. I'm going to use my heat one this season. I'm going to use his and we'll see who wins. Yeah. See who the real champion is. I actually played that a, a variant of that list in the local one at Sanctuary as well. Is that yeah, yeah. So did I? Yeah. I so he only just won me on that one. But yeah. that was because it was progressive scoring. He had and one it, model left. And, and he had less points as well because it was only 1,500, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, nice guy. Yeah, uh, to be top. fair, the, all, all the everyone, everyone there. there I don't think there were any any incidents. You know, you do I get yeah, no drama. Sometimes there were no drama. No drama. Just a lot of heat. Yeah, it was too hot. There was a lot of heat. <laughs> but yeah, but they were just super everywhere. Like Imperial Knights and Custodes and Guard were just everywhere. The thing. Yeah, and then Drakari. That was like the two dominant armies. Yeah, it's Dr- Drakari, Farseers, and then a, a smattering maybe of Dark Reapers and stuff yeah. like that. The way it was made, I think Tom had more I Dark think, Reapers. Yeah, I think Tom had the Dark Reapers. But yeah, I think he was pretty much the, like, the only Yanari army there as was, well. Yeah, there was one, I think there was like two maybe. Two, yeah. The rest was just Eldar yeah. mixed. So there were two Space Marine players. Yeah. One being me, another guy using Gullman. Um I'm not sure if he qualified though. No, he was no. the ultramarine army. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was like two pure marine armies. Um, there was a couple of marine soups out here and there. there. Two Death Watch, Sean. Yeah, uh, Sean, Sean and Kev. Sean, yeah, Sean and Kev. But it was um, just soup everywhere, guys. Or, or Drakari or, or Drakari soup. So I think I, I think, think Kev. Oh, sorry, not Kev. I think Jamie was the only guard player. Oh, pure, the pure yeah. guard player. The he only pure guard player. So it's it's quite interesting to see like the meta soup shift again. <laughs> soup is so dominant. It's just yeah. You can just take the best stuff from each army of your partic- particular, let's call it Grand Alliance. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, because they tried to change, didn't they, with the, with the FAQ and the... Yeah, but it's, it's, just not it's so changed. easy to do. So it's, oh. it's interesting. Does it need fixing? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I think I think it's because everyone can do it, then I don't... If it's only, like, Imperial Soup, is quite vast. Yeah, and Eldar But now Eldari is now, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't think you can it's, change... It's books like Town Necrons, and Orcs that struggle. They struggle, yeah. So... Yeah, it's it's interesting. That said, there were a few town players there. There were quite there were a couple of town players because yeah. town were quite strong to be fair. Yeah. Uh, I think there's one Necron player. Yeah, I think it's like, like you one say, orc it's, player. It's orc came quite well, but it was that typical picking the best of you know codexes slash indexes. I think is the yeah. issue. You just take all the strong points from each yeah. book. And it's, it's basically not changed from what it was before. No, apart from you can only take three of said. Except, unit you, now. except yeah, it costs you a command point to take Celestine now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, well, unless you throw in there with some um, sisters. Yeah, well, you don't do that. <laughs> sisters are great. No. But yeah, so they, so there you go. That was heat one. Mm. Uh, we both missed out on the cup, but we're both so close to it. Yeah. It real. Uh, best, like I say, best I've ever done in, a, in an official tournament anyway. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we both really enjoyed it. We both did really well. But our next big event is the Northwest Open. Yeah. And there's me and Dan going. There's Billy, which you might remember from the Alpha Legion. Um, Alpha Legion Battle Report and the live one, the live practice yep. game. I believe, if I do this right, the live practice game we did, not we are about to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's it, far seeing into the future. Uh, yeah, that's me, that's sorry. Um, <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that'll be the next one. Hopefully, if we do well enough, we'll do a report for that one. And there's Toby going as well. Toby's going as well, yeah. yeah. And I'm actually taking Tau. I mean, Toby would have been enough. quite nice today, making the tea. It would be. Would have been helpful. But there you go, guys. So that was another Crucible War, bit of a long one. Mm-hmm. Lots to talk about. A bit, more in, bit more in depth than last time, which is yeah, good. Yeah. So um, yeah, again, if you got any more, que- if you got any questions for anyone from the team, if you got one particular director, then do let me know who you want me to ask. But leave a comment below with the question. Put like Q and A, and then the question, 
and um, so I won't just answer I it. I suppose there we'll probably then. have another one of these in a couple of weeks as well. Yeah. After uh, NWO. Yeah. But then if you got if there is enough questions, then I'll try and put a compilation video of everyone answering what you want to know. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. I think that's about it. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, we've been Hellstone War Gaming. You guys have been fantastic, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. You're always, always fantastic. Always we love fantastic. you. <laughs> have a great one, guys, and see you later.